Hey my little fishies, what is up? It's me, it's Anna. Today I have an update for you guys about my living situation here in England. Um, I've been in England for like almost a week now. I'm gonna update you on how I've been, what I've been doing and yeah, how I thought the living situation and stuff is. <laughs> Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear like the cars and stuff. Um, my window is just like right next to my camera because this, it was, this was like one of the only places I could place my camera. Um, yeah, I'm just going to update you guys. Um, oh god, where should I start? Okay, so let me just explain how the Saturday went. I was unpacking my stuff. Um, and my parents brought me here. They wanted to bring me here and I could just bring a lot more stuff like I have my bicycle I brought my bicycle, it's downstairs outside so I could bring it too But my mom helped me unpack and my dad wasn't feeling that well because we were traveling And every time we are going to travel he just doesn't feel good so he was feeling sick so he wasn't helping But my mom helped me unpack and I like immediately, immediately started decorating my room Because I wanted to have that done so I didn't have to do that later and um, yeah, when we were done, we wanted to go grocery shopping so that I had like food and stuff, you know? So we went grocery shopping. And um, after we did, after we went grocery shopping, we just cleaned everything up and stuff and we put it in um, my cabinet. And uh, we just chilled here for a bit, like we just were in my room getting um, some rest after the day of traveling we had and after we had done that we were we went to dinner um, my parents wanted to have like a dinner with me for the last time so I totally understood, understood that it's fine I wanted to do that too <laughs> so we went to the KFC and we had some dinner there and afterwards my parents drove me here and um, I got <laughs> I got out of the car, of course, and my mom asked me like multiple times if she wanted to come inside or not, if I wanted them to come inside, and I was just like, you know, it's fine, if you don't want to, it's fine too, but if you want, you can come inside, it's fine, no worries, but they eventually didn't come inside, but my mom was crying when I left, um, I gave her a hug, and I said, please stop crying, because if you start crying, I'll start crying. And I haven't cried once since I've been here for a week. I would have expected me to like cry, but I haven't done that yet, so <laughs> yay. But anyways, my mom was crying, my dad was almost crying. Um, they gave me a hug and they wished me the best of luck, of course. Um, yeah, they drove off and I got inside and I met one of my uh, housemates. He was really nice. and. Yeah, I just kind of chilled here in my room then and yeah, on Sunday I just, I didn't do a lot, I just wanted to get used to the fact that I was all by myself so I didn't do much, I just stayed here in my room all day actually and I don't know, just didn't do a lot, just watched, watched a lot of Netflix and then Monday it was time for me to go for my internship so uh, Monday around 8.30 I had to be at my internship so I woke up early, I took a shower, I got ready, and I wasn't feeling that well because I was really nervous. So I didn't have any breakfast at all. Like, I just had like one glass of uh, like juice, and then I went because I just didn't want to eat. And then I went to my internship, and I was at my internship from 8.30 until 5, I think it was, and it ran really great. My internship is amazing. I love my internship. It's so great. Like, I've been there for like four days now. Um, today's Friday and today I got the day off. It's Monday, I also have the day off. To start on Tuesday again, Tuesday till Friday. I love my internship. The people in my internship are so nice. Like, it's incredible. I love them so much. They're so nice. And children. I can't get over children. I'm working with babies and I'm so happy about that because I really want to work with that age group like babies and toddlers and stuff and the first two weeks I'm gonna be working with babies and then afterwards I'm gonna be working with toddlers and maybe after that I can work with like the older kids but I have to discuss that because I actually don't really want to because I worked with the older kids like the whole of last year so I don't really want to do that again because I did not like it 
but the way they are with the children they are so great and because they are so great with the children I felt really on my place like they cuddle with the children they play with the children they oh, they are so great with the children it was such a great first day I was really excited to go back the next day so yeah I just fixed my schedule with my supervisor and I already have like uh, we already discussed the stuff for like Christmas that I can go home with Christmas and I don't have to be here I can go home for like two weeks so we immediately discussed that when we were discussing my um, schedule and yeah my schedule is really nice I have like I have to start at, at 9 until 5 I mean I actually don't really want 9, nine to 5 day to be honest but since I don't have a lot of things to do here, I don't really mind working nine to five. But uh, yeah, it was really great my first day and the other days that I've been there were so great. They were so awesome. I actually really loved it. I was really scared for my internship. Like I was scared I was not gonna like it. And then these six months would be like so incredibly hard. They would be like, oh, God, I wouldn't even like survive the first month without like crying without like having a breakdown like every week or something But my internship is really great. So I don't think that I'm gonna have a breakdown like every week But we're not gonna predict that because like I really have to get used to the fact that I'm living here on my own without my parents They're in a totally different country and I'm just here all by myself. I don't have friends um, I don't have my family here, so I really have to get used to that. It's gonna be feeling like really lonely at first, but I think it's gonna be fine like later on. And on my internship, they were also like really nice, and one of them actually offered me to like go to a gym or something, and maybe I could like make friends in the gym, you know. <laughs> and like one of them uh, said that if I wanted to, we could go to um, the city, and she would just like show me around and stuff. But yeah, they were so great on my internship. I loved it. And not a fun thing. The way I have to get to my internship is with my bicycle. And how does that work, you ask? Well, not great. They don't have any bicycle lanes like here, and that's really different than at home. Like at home, we have like bicycle lanes everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go, there's like bicycle lanes everywhere. And why did I bring my bicycle? I don't like public transport. I hate public transport so much, even at home. I hate it. I get sick when I go in with public transport. I seriously hate it. Sometimes I can do it, but if I have to do it like every day, I get so sick. It's ridiculous. I really hate it. I can't do it. Um, but yeah, to go with my bicycle, it's like 10 minutes from here, so it's really great. But There are hills here, and there are no hills in the Netherlands. Like the Netherlands, it's just like completely flat, like no hills anywhere. Like you can look as far as you want into the horizon, and there's just like no hills, mountains, nothing. Just like flat, maybe just a little bump, but that's something we made ourselves. So I really had to get used to the fact that I I have to go like up a hill and then down a hill and then just like up a little hill again and I really had to get you set up because it was so difficult like it's 10 minutes from here but the, it's <sighs> every time I get on my internship I'm out of breath it's so bad And I also really have to get used to the fact that I'm living with three other people. We're living here with the four of us and I've met two of them already. There's just one, I don't know if that one's here yet, but she lives here, but I don't know if she went somewhere or something, I don't really know, but I haven't seen her yet. Um, I've met my other two housemates and they were both really nice, so that's great. But I really have to get used to the fact that I'm living with like three other people, I don't know. I have to share a bathroom, I have to share a kitchen, I have to share a living room. My bedroom, of course, is private, but it's just 
like I really have to get used to the fact that I have to share a bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room with three people I don't know. I that's oh god. When I'm in my room, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. It's fine when I'm in my room. I'm like really comfortable and stuff. But when I have to go like outside, only to go to the bathroom or to the kitchen, I get so anxious. It's ridiculous. Like they're really nice, but I I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know what it is. You just have to get used to them. And I for sure, if I know them better, it's gonna be fine. I have like no problem like going anywhere. But yeah, that's just something I really have to get used to. How I am feeling. I'm better now. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Like the first few days, I felt nervous and sick and I couldn't sleep and I couldn't eat just because I was so nervous. I was so tired. I had like huge bags under my eyes. I still have them. They don't go away that easily. But I had like huge bag under my, bags under my eyes. It was ridiculous. And I just couldn't eat anything because if I like ate something, I would get sick and I would like almost throw up. So I didn't eat a lot. I think I actually lost some weight in those few days. I'm not even joking. I can't get on a scale because I don't have a scale. But it's ridiculous. I didn't eat anything. Like the first day when my, I, I had my first day of my internship, what did I do? I didn't have any breakfast at all. Just had a glass of juice because I had to take my medicine and I wanted to have like a glass of juice but I didn't have any breakfast at all the first thing I ate was um, like two it's like some bread and my break so my eating schedule has been really bad um, and also grocery shopping <laughs> that's a thing they have so many gluten-free stuff here in one of the stores but the store is 20 minutes away from my home with my bicycle and that sucks because it's really hard to do that but I did it anyway today it's fine I also got my nails in today it's fine I survived it like I can do it again but uh, it was horrible but grocery shopping is cool I like it it sounds really weird but I'm adulting guys I actually really like grocery shopping. Just, I just have time for myself. Like I have a lot of time for myself, but this, for some reason, is different. I don't know how. I don't know why it feels different, but it just feels different. I like it. Anyways, this was the little update. I hope you guys watched it all the way through. If you didn't, it's fine. I totally understand. It. Like I've been rambling for almost like 15 minutes, so I don't even know how many of this I'll put in there. But. Yeah, this was the update on how my first week went. I'll be doing like more, many more updates, like after my first month or something, or just like after three months or something. I don't know. I'll try to do more updates if you guys want. I'll also do a room tour. I'll be doing that very soon. I just have to tidy my room a bit. Like I did it this morning, but there's just like my trash can is overflowing. I have to do my laundry. And I have to do a lot of more stuff just to get it like more neat and stuff so you guys can see it. I'm also waiting on pictures. I want to hang there because it's really boring right now. But I want to hang some pictures there. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wait on that. And when that's done, I'm gonna be doing a room tour. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because just give it a big thumbs up. Thanks. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it right now because there's going to be a lot more England stuff, England related stuff when I'm here. And yeah, then you guys can also like follow my journey from when I'm here. And yeah, then this was my video and then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye my little fishies. Oh my god.